Well, well, well. Let's give you a kaiju. Kaiju over this Jados, triggering the scream to mill three, not triggering any tier limit. You have a turtle, I have a turtle, double turtle. You are negated, but you get an Albion in the graveyard to activate during the end phase, so that's good. And with our Mech Knight, it's going to be summonable to where there's two cards in the same column. We got the Morning Star. Morning Star is going to be discarding a card to be met with a Havness to summon and mill three. We're searching for a Mech Knight card as we do not mill any tier limit fusion trigger here. We got the World Legacy Memory, which is going to be summoning our Mech Knight purple from the deck. Purple is going to be banishing itself to be searching for the blue sky. Blue Sky summoning onto the field, activating to search for up to two cards. We still have our normal summon with the Gursu. Gursu is going to be sending the World Armor from the deck to the graveyard. We're going to use the Fairy Tale Snow to get flipping. Activate, come forth and summon by Banishing Seven, triggering the Mercurier to be searching the deck for an Albas card as the Snow flips the Gursu face down. Quite the field. We got the Secession, which is going to summon a monster from the graveyard to where a Link monster is pointing to, to now make another Morning Star. Now, Morning Star is kind of confusing. The idea is you're avoiding the Mech Knight so that you don't have to be in the same column, but it states that if your Mech Knight battles a monster in a different column, your monster cannot be destroyed by that battle. So, like, you want to be in the column, but you also don't want to be in the column. Mech Knight, Avermax, Crusade! The, uh... You timed out on your first turn? <laughs> what? How? How'd you time... Uh, okay. Uh, well, it happens. It's... You gotta calculate the columns and all that stuff, and, uh, yep. There can only be one winner. And you're looking at it. Let's go. Cock has defeated Manhandler. And now Cock is against Rod. I would trust Manhandler Cock. Cock and Rod in the top eight. <laughs> Cannot make this up. Let's get foolish by sending our Angler to not negate with Ash. Is this a good negate or what, right? I don't know, N negate the Angler? Hmm. We're negating the gigantic sprite instead. Or elf, or not elf, but jet. Gigantic sprite and jet are generally what you're going to be ashing. Now, this is really devastating. To understand this fully, we have max C, which gets negated by Ash, which we're gonna use next turn, which is now negated by the Cop of the Grave for two turns. So this is huge. Oh my. Come forth into the blue. And let's now speed this up. Blue into the jet. Jet, activate, grab the starter. Starter will summon a monster or back row negate from the deck. Elf reborn in the angler. And we're gonna have a spell and trap card negate. Malfi Force will be setting up the Herald Arc Light, ensuring that any card sent from the hand or deck to the grave will be vanished instead if it's a monster. And if we read Long Yun, Long Yun can discard a card. It doesn't have to go to the graveyard, so that it will still work even if banished. Ecclesia is a free special summon. You're going to get hit by the Maxi. Did we remember that we're called with the grave? We remember. The Rod does not forget. Mo Yi from the deck, reveal the summit. Come forth token does not even get impermanence because we want that draw. We want to be drawing two more cards instead of imperming. Grandmaster is going to be searching. Mo Yi is going to be drawing. Caddy is going to be returning itself back to the hand, searching for a beast. And then the Penny could make a Herald Bark Light whenever we want. The Monster Negate of the Grandmaster cannot be activated because we activated its effect to search instead. We did turn off the Grandmaster from being able to attack, though. We are going to be giving draw three with the Long Yun. Are you out of your mind? Before the level 10 synchro happens, we're going to be making not a Herald of Arc Light. Instead, we're going to summon Mary Melfi's, which on special summon, target a face-up monster on the field, return it to the hand. We could spin the token, we could spin the Long Yun, and we're getting rid of the token. 
Now, we are going to summon the Ecclesia, which is a level 4 tuner, just like the token, so we will still make our level 10 Synchro. Before that happens, we're going to be using the Elf to summon blue, blue, search for the red. Baron de Floor is here, which we have an impermanence for the negate. Burn for 1200, activate the... what the heck? Why would we not imperm? Is something like uh, going on here? Why not imperm the Baron? I don't know why. I have no idea why. Summon summon Taya. Uh, we're going to Taya banish summon the Baxia. Baxia spin two cards on the field back in the deck. It's spinning. Taya is going to be chain link blocking it, sending a card from the deck to the graveyard. I get yeah chain off. I guess I don't know. It's weird. Baxia. Maybe he had to go to the bathroom and so he chained off and went to the bathroom. We're going to make Shaman of Tenyi. Shauna Tenyi, discard a card, reborn him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where were we even going with that? We don't even know because we're just timing out. <laughs> we ti time out. Is the timer good or what? Is this the second timeout victory in today's event? What is going on? We got Regain being played from the deck. Sprint's going to send a monster from the deck to the graveyard, sending Shinobi Necro, then ending the turn. What the heck was that? What? Okay. Interesting. I don't see disruption. Regain's gonna summon a Bestial. Baldrake gonna banish the Shinobi Necro, which will summon itself onto the field, and the Regain will draw a card. So I guess the Baldrake is the disruption. If you summon a Link, anything from the action deck, Baldrake will tribute off the Magna Hut to banish it, but not negate. Okay. And then the Necro does not get its effect to summon itself onto the field. Pedal is activating to search for a Rika. Bistial Serenir banishing the Bistial Lubellion to just be on the fields. Okay. And we got Mudan tributing the Pedal to special summon and search for a Rika spell or trap. That will trigger the Primula because a monster control was tributed to then summon Primula. Okay. Con Con will allow us to tribute off the opponent's field when we make plays and. That's what's going to happen. It's happening. Glamour or the Snowdrop could tribute over the Baldrake, and there's nothing we could do. Hey, let's get to it. Baldrake is gone, just as I said, searching for a Petal and a Loki. We already committed to our normal summon, though. Princess is a free special summon. Hard Ones Return, making our Strena. Snowdrop going to tribute over the Mood Dawn to summon the Loki and our Snowdrop. Strena, add back a Ricka card in the graveyard back to the hand. And now we are going to Loki link off into Dryas. Perfect. Dryas activate and search for the sewing. Sewing can summon a twin from the deck, which will resummon the Loki from the graveyard. I mean, we got no disruption. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's freaking go. I guess Ricka is flaming on. We flaming. And the Snowdrop boosting up after tributing over the Magna Hut. Serenir sending Lubellion from the deck to the graveyard. We didn't use Resurgent to spin back the Sprint, but we don't have lethal damage anyway, so it's okay. Drew Swarm being searched for during the end phase. Now, Drew Swarm banishing from the opponent's graveyard, Jasmine. That will trigger the regain, putting the Jasmine to the bottom of the extra deck to draw a card. Now, we're going to tribute over the Drew Swarm to summon Abyssal Lubellion, which will trigger the Drew Swarm to send the Resurgent to the graveyard. Now we have Rika Princess, which is going to tribute over the Bestial Lubellion using the field spell to negate the Druid Swarm from sending a monster on the field to the graveyard. Nuts, actually nuts. Okay, so Resurgent's still alive. Teardrop just gaining every time a monster's tributed. This is interesting. So we're going to take control of a monster, non-targeting, but we're going to chain tribute our Strena so that the Strena on a separate chain link after you take control is going to activate to perform an exceed summon into a monster negate, which cannot be disrupted by the triple tactics talent. But if we take control of the resurgent, couldn't we just target that monster to spin it back and then you're going to have to negate? So we're going to go even anyway. That's what I'm thinking. And this at least makes it so you can't take control of the teardrop. Okay, take the Resurgent. And then activate the Shrena to summon a monster negate. 
And then we have Resurgent to go even with it. Do we do that right now? Regain is going to be triggering off of you summoning a monster. Let me snooze the ad real quick. That is our negate, as I said, going even with the Resurgent. Negate. We don't have any disruption anymore. That's it. Our disruption is gone. Foxy Tune discarding a card from the hand to come forth and summon a punk from the deck. We are scooping it up. No way. After pretty much setting up a turn one with no disruption besides a ball drake, which we easily dealt with, we still somehow won the duel. Wow.